Oh, the music in this place is amazing. Anyway, hey guys, it is Nitro1 here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Platinum. So, last time after battling Mars and Jupiter, we witnessed Cyrus trying to create his new universe using Diagra and Palkia. But, Giratina intervened and dragged Cyrus to the distortion world, which is where we are right now, with us and Cynthia following close behind. And today, we're going to be going through the distortion world. So, here's Cynthia here. The legend of Giratina has been all but forgotten, but to a few. The legend told of a world on the other side of ours, this world. Why does this world exist? Why is Giratina here all alone? There's so much that can't be explained, but we have things to do. Let's split it up. We have to find the right way. Okay, so, I think uh, this part we have to basically track Cyrus down. So, uh, we come off this wall here. Uh, I think we keep going right here. And then, possibly right again. And then after that we go down on this path. Yeah, this music is probably one of the best in the entire game, I have to say. It sort of describes, um, sort of Giratina actually, because, you know, um, it's like he didn't mean any harm to any Pokémon or anything. It was all just, uh, you know, misunderstanding, I guess. <laughs> That's what I heard someone say in uh, the comment section of the of the video on um, the music of this, uh, uh, distortion world. Anyway, I think we go down here now. And then possibly down again. It's really, really easy to get lost in this place. Let's see. Uh, oh god. <laughs> I'm going around in circles. Uh, let's see. Just speed this up here. down here. Okay, looks like we've gone the wrong way. <laughs> okay, I'll just speed this a little bit up here. I kind of don't want to speed uh, this up too much, because, uh, yeah, this is pretty awesome. So, anything here? Oh, looks like we got something here. Okay, maybe down here? I think this is back where we came. <laughs> Okay, so we're going down. That's good news. Okay, it looks like we're on the right path. So, further down we go. Okay, so now here's where the new path appears. And here's Cyrus. The shadowy Pokemon isn't here. It abandoned me here, then disappeared somewhere farther down. Was it content merely to interfere with my plan? Incidentally, do you understand the concept of genes? Uh, yes I do. Yeah, at the time, the first time I played Platinum, I wasn't familiar with genes because I didn't uh, do biology back the first time I played Platinum. Anyway, genes can be considered the blueprints of all life forms. That includes humans and Pokemon alike. Genes are contained in the DNA strand. A DNA strand consists of two chains of opposing characteristics in a spiral. If one of the chains were to be broken, the other could replicate it. One or the other cannot exist without its opposite. Do you understand where I'm going with this? This is a bizarre world. Time doesn't flow. Space isn't stable. Only that shadowy Pokemon lives here. This world is the opposite of our world, our world I wish to change. It is like the two chains composing a strand of DNA. The two worlds must be balancing each other to remain in existence. Without the one, the other cannot exist. The shadowy Pokemon must play a role in keeping the worlds in balance. That is why it must have interfered and brought me here. The shadowy Pokemon must have made this bizarre world. That's why trying to change our world disturbed it and made it reveal itself. But that is all irrelevant. What matters is defeating that Pokemon and making this world disappear. I won't allow it to interfere with me again. With it gone, neither world will be able to revert to its original state. Welp, so you think, Cyrus. Okay, so... Uh, I think the path disappears there. Uh, we can't jump over there. So, I think we go on this wall here. And then back down like this. Quite weird, interesting, quite difficult to get used to the mechanics of this. <laughs> Okay, so path disappears there. That's a bummer. So it looks like we went the wrong way after all. Can we go down here? No. Okay, we can't go down there either. So it looks like we were going the wrong way. Okay. This looks uh, like we're going the right way. So, further down. <laughs> Sorry I'm not saying much in this episode, I'm just trying to think of uh, how the puzzle's laid out. 
Okay, so go down here. Okay, so this is uh, the strength puzzle. I remember this. Uh, basically, uh, Ooxie comes over here, and uh, you want to push that uh, boulder with strength down into that hole. And then, what I think you do is, um, yeah, you strength. Uh, push it down that hole, and then you have to make your way down to the level where the boulder uh, was pushed down. So down there. Uh, now I think you have to go down this path, uh, go down this lift down to where the uh, boulder is. And um, Ooxie is standing in the hole, uh, the place where the boulder should be going. So if we push it down uh, to where Ooxie is, then uh, yeah, we should... Uh, progress in this puzzle. So strength goes down there, the boulder rather. And uh, I think if you come down here, I think, uh, wait a second, anything over here? Okay, I think uh, the next one is uh, Mesprit is uh, up, oh wait a second, I'll go back to where I was. Uh, I think go back up and then uh, to the left, uh, that's where Mesprit is. Yeah, there we go. So I think now we have to push um, yeah, the boulder that Mesprit is down there. Just like it says so. So, just push this boulder down. Oh, there we go. Uh, now, I think to get back down to that level uh, we have to take uh, another path. Uh, I think, yeah, go over here, and then the lift down to, uh, or rather the lift up. <laughs> and then I think here, there's this uh, path where, like, the trees sort of, and the blocks sort of change places here. Oh, here's Garutina. Ah, oh, didn't uh, remember that part the first time I played this. Uh, okay, so we've got to follow this path. This is really, really cool. I actually like this. I know there's a lot of uh, sort of mixed opinions on the Distortion World. Some people love it, some people hate it. Personally, I love it. It's why I prefer Platinum to Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> okay. Uh, any path over here? Any path over here? Nope. Uh, okay. So, this is where we head back down to uh, that place with the... Uh, Uh, boulder. Oh, am I going the wrong way again? <laughs> yep, I think I am. Yep, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> okay, where was I? I was here, wasn't I? Oh, there we go. Anything down here? Okay, here we go. So all the way down here. Oh wait, this was was this where we were last time? Yeah, it was where we were last time. Okay, wait a second. We speed this up. Oh, good on here. I think uh, there's a path here, maybe. No. How the heck do you navigate through this place? <laughs> Okay, this is, uh, well, I'll have to speed this bit up. Because uh, this is a bit time-consuming. Oh, we're back to, <laughs> we're literally back to where we started. Oh my god. Okay. This is, this will be really, really tedious. I'll just speed, again, speed this, speed this bit up. Okay, so, there we go. Okay, so back to where we were. Good. Um, right, uh, back down here. There we go. 
So this is where Mesprit is. Yep, right there. That took quite a, quite a bit longer than I expected. <laughs> how, long have we, how long have we been going for? Let me just check. Wow, 10 minutes already. Wow. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be cutting any of this out. I'll just, uh, yeah, speed it up. So there's Mesprit. Now, I think the hardest, uh, the hardest puzzle is, uh, Zelfs. So, um, basically we have to go all the way back up again. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we've got to make our way to the right here, because this is where Zelf would be. So, um, let's see. Uh, go back up. So if we move to the right just there, I know we can't move up because the ledge is just there, but that's where Azelf will be, so I think we have to make our way around there somehow. So anything over here? Okay, so moving back up. I think once again we'll have to go through this um, sort of tree and uh, boulder sort of swapping places thing. Nope, <laughs> not this way. <laughs> so again, this is where Cyrus is. We'll go back up here again. And now I think we move, we have to find like a path to the right here somewhere. Right, anywhere here? Okay, right. So Cyrus is just there. Okay, so this is where we're going to be going. So, yeah, Cyrus goes away just there. I think we have to follow him. <laughs> Where did Cyrus go? I think, um... Yeah, does, does he even have a Pokemon with Surf? Oh yeah, he's got a Gyarados. I think his Gyarados have Surf. Although, his, I think his Gyarados' moveset has, was, uh... Waterfall, has Waterfall and Earthquake or something. It doesn't have Surf. I don't know, I'm just... Uh, rambling on about something. So, uh, yeah, we are making progress here. Got to comment that uh, Giratina was uh, just flying by just then. So yeah, we use Surf again here. And uh, I think you don't actually have to use Waterfall here. I think you just have to, like... Yeah, you'll just fly onto the Waterfall. So yeah, you don't need Waterfall. Of course, you've... Um, you don't even have Waterfall yet because... Uh, yeah, you need the 8th Gym Badge to use Waterfall. <laughs> So yeah, this uh, part is a bit slow. Okay, so... Yeah, this bit is uh, where Azelf is. So yeah, we've almost uh, completed the puzzle, which is uh, good, I guess. So we have to use uh, strength again. And down there. And now we can, um, oh wait, what's over here? Oh, never mind. Okay, so now we can take the uh, lift down again. Down to uh, a Zelf's level. So let's uh, jump off here. And push the boulder in the place where a Zelf is. So uh, yeah, some uh, big news actually happened uh, yesterday. I was watching uh, the Nintendo Direct for Thursday the, tw the, uh, yeah, the 12th of November. Uh, today's uh, Friday the 13th as I'm recording this, and uh, I think they actually, well, yeah, of course I'm positive that they uh, announced um, that Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow are actually going to be um, on the 3DS Virtual Console back in uh, over in uh, February. So, uh, yeah. Pretty uh, good news, I guess. I never played the original Red, Blue, and Yellow games. I played Fire Red, of course, because I own Fire Red. But, uh, yeah, pretty um, interesting that uh, they are going to be releasing Red, Blue, and Yellow on 3DS. So yeah, here's a new path here. 
and down we go. So yeah, the battle against uh, Saurus is uh, coming close. Okay, so this is it. Giratina is up ahead. So how are we doing for time? 15 minutes, okay. Right, well, here we go. So you're already here. Why do you seek to change the world? If you hate our world, you should just go off somewhere alone. Find somewhere where you can live without seeing others. Why should I run and hide from the world I have to, and have to wait quietly? My aim is to rid our world of the vague and incomplete thing we call spirit. By freeing ourselves of that, our world can be made complete. That is my justice. No one can interfere. Okay, so, looks like we're gonna battle him. Uh, I guess we have Streamline up in front. That's uh, good. Welp, let's uh, take him on then. I won't lose. Not to that shadowy Pokemon. Not in any worthless world. Okay, so here we go, guys. The final showdown against the Team Galactic boss, Cyrus. So, he's going to start off with a Houndoom, level 45. Uh, so, we'll go for a Surf here. And hopefully that should be a one-shot. There we go, one shot. So yeah, I think um, this uh, music, uh, Battling Cyrus, uh, right here, I think is actually a slight variation uh, compared to the other two uh, battles against uh, Cyrus. I think they added a few more instruments in this uh, track, just for the final battle, make it more epic. <laughs> so, Gyarados. And Thunderbolt. Yeah, I guess we'll be using uh, Duracell a lot on this battle, because uh, he's got a Crobat and a uh, Honchkrow as, well, as well. And what do you know, level 51. Not bad. 158 base speed, that's pretty cool. Okay, so here's Weavile. Now, this I'm actually quite worried about. Um, I think that as Weavile has Fake Out, I'm going to go into Edgeworth. And uh, it, his Weavar should go for a Fake Out, and uh, that should activate um, Edgeworth's uh, Steadfast. So yeah, go for a Brick Break. Fake Out, okay. So yeah, we should flinch. Oh wow, that was a crit. Okay. That was the worst time to get a crit. Okay. Please outspeed. Yes! Okay, good. <laughs> I, was, uh, I wasn't sure that we'd uh, outspeed Weavar from... Uh, even with uh, a Steadfast boost. So yeah, there's no way you're surviving that. Oh, critical hit. Crit for crit. You crit me, I crit you. Okay, so this next... Uh, yeah, the rest of this battle should be a breeze. So Honchkrow will go back into uh, Duracell. If uh, Weavile still outsped and uh, used Night Slash on uh, uh, Gallade, that would have definitely been a one-shot. Considering, um, yeah, the defense of uh, Gallade. So yeah, Weavile was his ace if uh, I didn't say that already. <laughs> oh wow, another critical hit, wow. Crits left and right here. Of course that crit didn't matter. Didn't think so anyway. And Crobat, I think this is his last Pokemon. Wow, his last Pokemon already, wow. I admit that you have pushed me to this extreme. Okay, so Thunderbolt. And we'll shut it down. There we go. So, that's Crobat. And that is Team Galactic Boss, Cyrus. I won't accept this. This can't be. Not after all the sacrifices we've made to get this far. What of my new world? Of my new galaxy? Was this all a dream to be swept away by your reality? And nice sum of money for that. Duracell was holding the amulet coin. So, don't think that you can defeat or capture that Pokemon. This bizarre world is none other than that Pokemon itself. Capturing it or defeating it will make this world disappear. Very well, do what you will. Rather than repairing the world, you're going to destroy it for me. Do it, you inherit my legacy. Don't believe his lies. It's not possible that a Pokemon can make the world disappear. 
The world awaited your birth, not only yours either. The Pokemon with you, the people close to you. All the Pokemon and people were born because they have a part in the world. I'm convinced of that. Giratina won't go out of existence. This distortion world won't disappear. Our world won't disappear either. Let's go meet Giratina. Oops, I should do something about your hardworking Pokemon first. Ah, oh, thanks, Cynthia. <laughs> you didn't have to. Okay, so... As Cynthia said, let's go meet Giratina. Giratina is enraged because the two worlds are endangered. It has merged the distortion world and our world at the Spear Pillar. That's why both worlds are becoming distorted. But there's nothing to fear. You can defeat Giratina and show the type bond you share with your Pokemon, or you can demonstrate how much you want it to join it. To join you. If you succeed in doing either, Giratina will understand. The distortion of the two worlds will stop. Okay, so... Let's go meet Giratina. Hey, Kirishina has a pretty cool cry, I have to say. So, new path appears. Oh, yes. Looking good, Giratina. Giratina is quietly eyeing Matt. Okay, so, Freddy, let's go talk to it. So, this is Giratina, the main legendary in Pokemon Platinum, and my personal favourite legendary out of the Dioga Palkia and Giratina trio. Now, we actually have a bit of a problem here. If you guys know, I'm actually playing by the rules, no legendaries, no trading, no eggs, right? So in other words, I'm not allowed to use Giratina in the Nuzlocke, right? However, I kind of want to catch it anyway. I'm going to use my Master Ball on this. I mean, if you guys are playing a normal playthrough, I recommend you don't use your Master Ball on this. But I'm going to use my Master Ball on it anyway, just because I kind of want to catch it anyway, and I don't want to risk um, Giratina KOing any of my Pokémon. So uh, yeah, we're going to use Master Ball. I know it's a bit of a waste of using Master Ball in uh, this Let's Play. But yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. I love this music, by the way. <laughs> Should uh, listen to this music a little bit more. Um, yeah, I guess uh, yeah, I'll just use the Master Ball then. So yeah, I'm going to catch it. But uh, I'm not going to use it at all in the Let's Play. So yeah, catch Giratina. Now, I think uh, Giratina, unlike most other legendaries, uh, Giratina actually has a catch rate of 1, as opposed to most other legendaries which have a catch rate of 3. So, uh, yeah, good luck trying to catch this, if uh, you're going to catch this uh, normally, using, like, Dusk Balls or Pokeballs or anything. So, anyway, uh, Giratina, the Renegade Pokemon. It was banished for its violence. It silently gazed upon the old world from the Distortion World. And Giratina... Uh, now, of course, uh, the Nuzlocke rules are that we've got to nickname every Pokemon, but uh, because I'm not going to use this Giratina at all in the Let's Play, I'm gonna not going to... I'm not going to give it a nickname to it. So, Giratina seems to have understood us. That Pokemon. That shadowy Pokemon was captured. Your doing so means this irrational world will remain in existence. Does that make it impossible for me to create a new world? Even if I made new red chains, the new world can't be made. Why? What compels you to protect the two worlds? Is spirit a vague and incomplete thing so important to you? The places we are born. The time we spend living. The languages we speak. We are all different, but the presence of Pokemon unites us. We share our lives with our Pokemon and our happiness grows as we all become greater than we were alone. That is why we can battle and trade with anyone we choose. Silence! Enough of your blathering. That's how you justify spirit as something worthwhile? That is merely humans hoping, deluding themselves that they are happy and safe. The motions roiling inside me. Rage. Hatred. Frustration. Two of them are Pokemon moves. These ugly emotions arise because of my own incomplete spirit. Enough. We will never see eye to eye. This, I promise you, I will break the secrets of the world. With that knowledge, I will create my complete and perfect world. One day, you will awaken to a world of my creation. A world without spirit. And off he goes. <laughs> You're not going to come with us then, Cyrus? You're just going to spend the rest of your life in the distortion world? Since there is sadness, we can feel joy. Where there is anger, compassion is born. Let's go back home. The boss where Giratina was should lead back to our world. Giratina was written in legend as being on the other side of our world. It stands to reason that it has a link to the other side. Okay guys, so, as Cynthia said, let's head back to, uh, 
Our world. This place. It's the send-off spring. It's said to somehow lead to the great beyond, and Giratina was said to live in a world on the opposite side of ours. Oh, I'm sincerely sorry. It's very rude of me. Matt, you're incredible. You really are a fantastic trainer. Ah, oh, thank you. Let me say this on behalf of all Sinnoh. Matt, thank you. Oh, that's right. You have to go tell Professor Rowan. He was very worried about you. You should visit him at his lab. Okay, guys. So, um, how are we doing for time, by the way? Let me just check. 25 minutes. Okay, right. What we'll do is we'll head back to um, Sanjim Town and uh, conclude the episode off then. So there we go, Sanjim Town. So uh, yeah, how about we end the episode off here then, guys? So uh, yeah, that is pretty much the end of today's episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, next time, we're going to be uh, talking to uh, Professor Rowan and uh, progressing through uh, the story of the game. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!